Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel today I'll be sharing all the details of my self-care slash pamper routine and all the products will be listed down below so let's get started the first thing I do is brush my hair out to get it prepped to wash. So I'll go and get it all wet and then lightly towel dry it to put in my Olaplex hair treatment. And I just run this through my hair with my fingers and then I'll set a timer for it to sit in for 28 minutes. Okay, we're all done. I look like a balloon head. I ran out of the shampoo that I usually use, so I'm just using this one. I will use the green version of the shampoo, and I just use these two conditioners. I use this Team Eat Superfood Cleanser to wash my face. And I took off my press-on nails. My nose is always so red, what the heck? I am feeling fresh and rejuvenated. Hmm. Don't know what I did. I only wash my hair once a week, just because it's easier to manage instead of washing it every other day. I mean, I get it gets dirty, it gets sweaty, and yeah, it gets pretty gross, but like, you don't need to wash your hair every other day. So I do it once a week, there's nothing wrong with that. I start to get headaches, and it actually starts to hurt my head like when my hair is dirty for really long. So yeah, I just do every Sunday and I'm just feeling so fresh, so clean. Time for a face mask. So the two that I use like once or twice a week are the Teamy Detox Mask. Love this one, literally use this all the time. Or I'll use this Wish Blue Matcha Perf Purifying Mask that came in my FabFitFun box. But yeah, this is usually my go-to, feels really good. And today I'm gonna try this beauty mask. This one is also from Teamy. It's like a clay, it's like a clay mask. This is so cute. Here's a detox mask that I use all the time. This one was created to rejuvenate and restore skin to its natural balance. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. My favorite thing is to put face masks around my nose, like in the crevices. <gasps> that's my favorite thing ever. And it always burns. With any sing any um, face mask that I tr that I've tried, it like burns in the crevices. And that's not just with this one. That's with every face mask. Ooh, ooh, oh my gosh! Yeah, in real life, in real life, it's such a pretty blue. I think yeah, it's kind of showing up the same on camera. Freaking love face masks. Before having the detox mask, I never really had these types of face masks. Game changers. They are the best. <laughs> <laughs> you guys this mask literally made my face feel so soft i'm so shook my skin always pat dry we're being real here if you guys like face masks or you've been wanting to try a face mask this is it you need this in your collection my skin feels amazing Next, um, I'm just gonna do my peach fuzz. I'm gonna shave off my peach fuzz with this face shaver here. I've been doing this for about a, maybe two years now. I feel like it just grows back the same. Like it's not like I have a mustache or anything. But yeah, it was dark to begin with and it was very noticeable to begin with, the peach fuzz. Um, can't really. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see the shadow of it. Of course, I went ahead and Freaking shaved the bottom of my brow as soon as I'm filming this video. So for my main skincare that I do every single day, I really like to focus on this regimen, like after I've like taken off my makeup and stuff. I recently, not recently, a little bit ago, I went to my first facial ever, like, and that was bomb. If you really need some self-care and you want to spend some money, I recommend getting a facial. I didn't even know I had dry skin. I thought I had like combination oily skin. I have dry skin. She gave me this full, full brick 
elixirs thing. I don't know, but I use one pump of this. Then I go on to this oxygen treatment cream, which is two pumps of this. These were very expensive. And then I go on with my <laughs> CeraVe, CeraVe <laughs> moisturizing lotion. I bought this thinking that it was like a face moisturizer and it's not, but I searched and it said you can use it on your face. I only got it because of the TikTok hype because um, I was using Cetaphil before and like I heard it's really bad. So anyway, and then after I finish off with this Tea Meat Soothe Tea Infused Oil. I'm so sad, I'm like almost done. I finished my other Restore one. I'll do one pump. And trust me guys, your skin will look so freaking bomb. Kind of just like fan it a bit. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I have some like scarring here from pimples that like just randomly showed up out of the blue. And then I do two pumps of this oxygen treatment cream. I realize that I'm very dry around my, my nose area here under my eyes I go then I go in with this moisturizing lotion this one's for normal to dry skin and just rub that in a bit And all these, I find all these products work together. Sometimes if you can, if you apply like a product, it'll like bunch up. That's what happened with these two when I would put this one first and then this one. It would like bunch up weirdly and then I started putting this one first and then this one. Then the last step, the nice little oil here. I do like seven drops. We'll do eight today. But yeah, I'm really precise with that. I don't know why. Watch this, guys. This will have your skin like... Look at this! Glowing! Glowing skin! We love... Oh, yes! Oh, yes! We love us some glowing skin. That's my little skincare routine. Okay, we're gonna move on to... Um, I gotta moisturize my skin. I also did shave my legs and my underarms. It's the next day, time to do my hair. So, for my hair, it's like a little bit damp on the in very, very inside. I'll spray some of this stuff here. It's called Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. And this will be just before I blow dry my hair, which I use the Dyson Blow Hair Dryer. My mom got it, so we just share it. I get a whole bunch of hair ties and like split my hair in like four sections. And I use the Tresemme Thermal Creations, this one. There's another Tresemme bottle that I don't, I do not like that one. But this one's really good. And then I straighten my hair with this Babyless Pro Titanium Straightener. It's like the really thick one. With my hair now, that it's shorter, I like to curl it. It just takes a little longer. So today I'm, I feel like straightening it. When I'm done, I'll finish off with this Garnier Fructis Moroccan Sleek. Or do I do it before? No, I do it after. Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward and I'll just see ya when it's done. Here's a little before. Crazy little frizzy mess. And we're done! Oh, it's looking a little weird. I don't know why it looks so weird. But yeah, this makes me feel so much better. The last and final step we're gonna do are our nails. So I got this as like a PR package. Um, it's a brand called Madam Glam. They sent me this like mini UV LED lamp. So I, I had the wrong impression. I, I thought it was shellac, but it's gel nail polishes, which I don't think I've ever had. I've gotten a gel polish at the salons. So I did my toes last night because I just wanted to get a feel for it. Because um, as you guys know, I have been doing the press-ons um, with the longer ones, but I do really like the short natural length of my nails. I have these two colors here. This one actually ended up to be more purple than I thought. You can't have your nails and your toes mismatch, you know what I mean? It's super cool. Portable because like it just has a USB thing. It's so small um, and I have to do like really thin layers. So I'll show you me doing that. Base coat, nail color, top coat. Turn this on. Bada boom, bada bang. I'll show you guys what it's done. Here's my cute little nails. They're so adorbs. I would definitely want to try some different colors. It takes a little bit of getting used to. So yeah, that was like a really cool little at-home gel thing. And I, the reason why I like my natural nails is just because it's easier to do everything and anything. And like, it's just cute, you know? Like, that's how I do my little nails. Um, otherwise, I would just use regular polish and that thing takes so long to dry and it just always gets smudged. Second time around, hopefully it goes by a little bit better. Alrighty, guys. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave 
leave them in the comment section down below or send me a DM on Instagram. And make sure to like, subscribe, and click that post notification bell button thingy so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Peace out.